Hey Pandalings, this is the Black Belt Panda and in this tutorial video I'm going to show you how to build a Greek dining room. Okay, so we're here in the Greek kitchen and right off of this little door we made last time we're gonna start building so what we want to do is make this a nine by nine room uh, so this wall here is included so we've got two three four five six seven eight nine two three four five six seven eight nine and bring it back over here like so Oops. it's gonna be six tall so two three four five six Just get the uh, outline in here first. Okay. And then we're going to put some blocks here. And then across the top. Oops. And down here. And then we're going to leave the spaces in the middle here for windows. We're going to do the same on this side across the top, down this side, leave spaces for windows, okay we can fill in across the top here, there we go, just about, and boom, alright, go ahead and put some glass panes in. Okay, and we'll go ahead and fill in the floor as well. All right, and now for Let's see, we're going to leave this wall for later, although we'll go ahead and put uh, these blocks here, just outline it for now. Okay, now we want some jungle wood stairs. I'm going to place one there, one there, nah, nope, place one there and one there. There we go. And item frames for armrests. And then we're going to make a table, so to do that. We're going to put, if I can get it here, upside down stair. Doesn't want to cooperate. There we go. Sort of. Anyway, let's try that again. Upside down stair. Right like that. So face that way. Then bring it back this way. like that and let's see a couple more chairs over here item frame armrests nice thing about item frames is you can put two of them in the same block so you can have chairs next to each other like this very useful we're going to have pillar quartz blocks coming across from each of the windows here apologize for the glitchiness that seems to be randomly occurring. I'm not really sure what's causing that. I'm just going to come all the way back. There we go. We've got some nice uh, ceiling beams here. Very cool. And this one, we're going to put some glowstone in. Anvil. And bushes. Woohoo. Yay. Okay. So, let's grab some more stuff now. We want uh, some lapis lazuli. And we're just going to replace the blocks underneath the table. 
Oops. Why'd that break? Interesting. There we go. And now we've got some nice blue flooring under the table here. Looks good. Okay. And let's go ahead and decorate the table a little bit. We're going to want some pressure plates. You can use any kind you want. I like the look of the iron ones, the weighted pressure plates. I'm just going to toss one here and one here. And flower pots, which make good cups. Just put one there and one there. There we go. Decorated table. All right. Now, along the back here, we're actually going to break this part of the floor out. And continue downward. Three blocks, just like that. And whoops, don't want to put that one in there. And I lost my glowstone. Okay, so we want to replace the bottom here with glowstone. Did I go too far down? I went too far down. Okay. There we go. So three blocks down, like I said. Bottom one, glowstone. What's that, what's that saying? Do as I say, not as I do? <laughs> Alright, so let's go ahead and fill in the walls here with quartz blocks. There we go. Alright, that looks good. Um, now we just need... Ah, here we go glass blocks and leave a hole against that wall there and we're just gonna put the glass blocks right along there just like that next up we're gonna want some quartz stairs and here's where we get to decorate um, let's see first of all regular quartz blocks along here and then we're going to replace these bottom ones with stairs just like this and from the outside, it doesn't look like there's any stair blocks here, which is nice. And then regular quartz blocks along here. Got a neat little decoration. And then we want some quartz slabs, which are going to go right along here. Except for that one, which is going to be an... If I can get it here. Oops. I misplaced those. Along the top is where you want them. And right here upside down stair if I can get it okay, look. there we go all right and one more there and then we want a dispenser and we're gonna put that right up in there so it's facing downward grab some glass panes and let's see a button and a bucket of water we're gonna put the bucket of water inside the dispenser we're gonna put the button right there and we're going to put the glass panes right along here. Oh, not there. Do you want that one? Yes. Okay. So now we've got a cool water feature. You just look up, hit the button. And look at that. Got an awesome little water feature you can turn on and off. And then to finish it off going to grab a jukebox put that right there and then we can grab the blue disc alright so can you tell what color theme this room is yep it, it, it's pretty easy to guess it's it's blue <laughs> but uh... just add a little bit of decoration let's toss some uh... pillar blocks in right there that looks nice. I like that. Okay, so that does it for this episode. Short and sweet. And uh, making progress on the Greek house. Take a look from the outside here. Run around to this side. Looks nice. Got a nice little room here. And it'll continue to look nice as we expand it further. Hello, tree. 
All right, so once again, thank you for watching. If you liked the video, click the like button and definitely share it if you think any of your friends will like the video as well. If you have any questions, comments, or suggestions, please leave those in the comments section below. This is the Black Belt Panda. Thank you for watching, and I will see you in the next video.